business police say was selling luxury brand logos at really bargain prices was broken up in Arlington. Investigators told our Jason Allen today this one is one of the biggest counterfeit seizures they've ever had, amounting to hundreds of thousands of dollars in merchandise. From Gucci to Fendi, Nike to Nintendo, the logos of luxury, fashion, and entertainment brands were all being produced, police say, at a business located in an unlikely place. Across the street. Arlington Police Detective Richard Jablon said a tip led the Economic Crimes Unit to this unassuming warehouse last month within walking distance of police headquarters. And there, police say the owner was using high end sewing machines to produce patches and logos he sold in an online store. But the scale of the business even surprised police. Based on his website, we knew he had hundreds and sometimes thousands of one patch. So we kind of expected we were going to deal with a large volume, not quite that large. It took a team several days this month to count everything up. And when they were done, there were more than 100,000 unauthorized items with a retail value of more than $650,000. We found the owner, Omar Dia, at the business Tuesday. He told us what he was selling was for arts and crafts, not part of making fake bags or clothing, but didn't want to comment further without an attorney. This isn't the first time, though, law enforcement has come across Dia. Police say they learned U.S. Customs officers seized three shipments of merchandise on their way to Dia from China. And they were large shipments, um, I think totaling over $600,000 worth of merchandise that they seized out of three shipments. The high dollar value takes the trademark counterfeiting charge to the level of a first degree felony with at least five years in prison if there's a conviction in the case. In Arlington, Jason Allen, CBS News, Texas.